Taurus. Welcome to your mid-month check-in for June. What's up? What's going on? Show me Taurus, please. What's going on for Taurus? Like always, take it resonates if it does not. If there's more than one energy clearly apparent to you on this board today, then reverse those energies as you see fit. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check your placement. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me, Taurus, what's going on for... Taurus. First, we're going to put down your baseline, then we'll clarify. Throw down some oracles. Towards the end. Show me Taurus, please. Cool. Three of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, that's cool. All right, moving on. Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. King of Pentacles, that's you, baby. Knight of Cups. A hermit. Oh, you look great. Oh, yay. I think I kind of had a distinct impression, if I recall, <laughs> with your last Sunday checking about your Knight of Cups feeling prohibited, and now it's looking like the opposite is true. So that's great, honey. I'm so happy for you. This is good. Nice, simple baseline today. I like the flow through. All is looking well in your day today. I'm not saying that it's perfect. There's no such thing as perfection, but hey, you can feel good about you, and that's a good thing, yeah? Three cups, two of wands, so three pentacles. I like that. That's Nice, light, easy, social connectivity, all hands on deck, cooperation, hanging out. I don't know, however it is you want to put it, but it's basic, it's low level, it's functionary, but it's also pleasing a little bit. It could be connecting with multiple folks. I don't know, the three of pentacles, you know, you could just be open, hanging out. I don't know, trying out different personalities, building something, constructing something. I don't know, but it looks cooperative and you're open to it, literally with the two of wands. So that's fantastic. Four swords, queen of swords, strength. And you also seem to know when to pull back, right? Take a rest, take a time out, get a breather. And also to make sure that you are doing right by you in terms of your thinking, your decision making. Are you good where you're at? You check in with yourself, but in a very kind of formal way. Okay. Uh, you're showing strength of will for a particular reason. I think what I'm seeing here is you knowing when to defend your space. Four swords. I need quiet time. Thank you very much. And you're showing me a firmness there. So you're showing me an external. Okay, things are pretty cool. And your internal. Okay, this is my downtime. Don't cross it. And, you know, I have that conversation with you all the time. You have to know when to make that space for you. And you're like, I'm learning. <laughs> you are making some good space for you. I like it here, okay? Uh, you do have to impose your will from time to time with strength there. In other words, I, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that people are not used to respecting your own sense of downtime, so you kind of have to enforce it. I understand. King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit. I love that for you. Look at that. That's great. That's you, honey. Right there. You bounce a Virgo in your chart. That's not the point. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Hermit. You are looking at your flow space. Uh, so again, the Knights are responsible for moving our stuff outside of us, be it emotion, thought, action, passion, whatever it is, outwards. And that's exactly what you're showing me. Your heart space is flowing outward, but it's coming from you. And I like that. That's good. That's ownership of the heart space and what you feel from a place of comfort and knowing thyself, yeah? And the Hermit, you expressing yourself is very healing. So I don't know who you're expressing yourself to or what you're opening up towards. I just like it. It looks like it suits you and it makes you literally feel good. So what's going on? Mind you, I may not clarify all of these. Some of them will speak for themselves, particularly here in your opening. But I will go ahead and take a look at your three cups. Show me that three cups, please. Show me that three of cups. Show me that three of cups. If I have any sense of wariness when it comes to you at all, you will show me something so wonderfully simple on your baseline, but then you're like, <laughs> upon clarification, you're like, what? It's no big deal. I'm, you know, it's, I'm just putting it out there. It's <laughs> so in effect, essentially, you know, you think Taurus is straightforward, then I clarify and you're like, well, I have a couple of maps that you can maybe follow. I wrote them like 10 years ago. <laughs> so, we'll see. No, I'm not picking on you. I just, I'm just familiar with your collective energy. Let's put it that way. All right. Let's see that three cups. Show me that three cups. Show me that three cups, please, for Taurus. 
ready room. Oh, yeah, yeah, you back up. Oh, oh, the world, king of wands, eh? Eight of cups, okay. All right, where you were showing emotional distance, you're coming back. That's good. I like it. It's not too much. It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing you can't handle. It's kind of like you're saying, you know, I've been away. And now I'm back. <laughs> you seem to be in a more relaxed state um, than when you last connected to people. Again, the three cups, I'm getting this in the very kind of open-ended sense. I don't see it targeted to any one particular person. It looks like an overall general sense of, see, I'm here, I'm participating, I'm feeling better. Some of you are showing me emotional distance, okay? And we are coming out of that phase, right? Not by leaps and bounds, but you do seem to be re-engaging with folks and just outside of yourself, okay? There was this, that very touring energy. Well, I was absent, uh, and now I'm here. What's going on? But it's not too much. Just about right. Just about right. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got curious, your energy relaxed a little bit, or you feel like you can just kind of hang out and give more of your time, energy, effort outside of yourself. But again, it's in a low-key way. I'm going to go ahead and stress that point. You're showing me emotional exhaust, and you tapped out. You needed space, and now you're coming back. So you're re-engaging with people that you know, social activity, you name it, but not too much, nothing too crazy. You know, let's, we're going to go ahead and skip that two of wands. I see the decision there, and that took a minute. I don't know how long you were away, but it's looking like you needed some time to yourself. Perhaps you were just tired. The king of wands can get tired, right? Emotional exhaustion. But you're coming back. Let's take a look at that three of pentacles. Show me that three of pentacles, please. We're just zipping right along, aren't we? Let's see that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, the Chariot, and the Two of Cups. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's looking like your emotional space. Again, I see the absence and then coming forward. The withdraw. And now the engagement. Some of you needed quite the break. But now you're showing up in that space of I'm here. Let's hang out. Let's exchange cups. But where there was resistance, I'm saying you harmonize with somebody. It looks good. It looks good. It's a little rough on the edges at first. So I don't know how long you pulled your energy back, but now it's coming forward. But at your own particular pace. Again, it's non-rest. It looks very relaxed, or it wants to be. I see it trying to relax. So here we have the general sense of uh, social-emotional connectivity. Yeah, that could be anybody. Cool. Again, it's like you're saying I'm back. Now, there's one particular cup here that has a little bit more significance to you because now the chariot's showing up with that two of cups. There's that sense of I'm showing up to this and I want to harmonize, but in the Three of Pentacles suggests you're coming back to this and that you're not putting too much into it with the Three of Pentacles, but your emotional self is sincere behind it. So where there was some resistance to cooperate, you're showing me emotional cooperation. That's really interesting how you distinguish between, well, this is generally what I do, right? This is how I connect. This is where I was coming from and I'm getting back into the swing of things. Okay, to this one's a little bit more significant, but I don't want to put too much into it. There was some resistance around the 3D practical connecting there, and I understand that that might be an issue. However, the directive here is emotional formality in that sense of uh, harmonizing. I officially want to harmonize with this. Okay, so there's an admission here at the Nine of Wands. It's a bit rough, but you have every intention to navigate it. Okay, because that's... You know, that's some lovely authority of the heart space there, okay? To move something forward or the intention to move something forward, whatever obstacles are here. It's like uh, any frustration around cooperation aside, I'm showing up to this because I want to, and let's equalize our cups, okay? Okay, all right. It's looking like you mean business. It's almost like, uh, like I said, you're getting back into the swing, swing of things in the general sense and then also with a very specific emotional union, okay? Uh, but again, not too much. Not too much. There's a recognition here of it could get a little bumpy. It could, it could get a little bumpy. But 
my sincerity is good. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. But you made that decision. You made that decision between you and you. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. I like how you're entering the new month. Or rather, I should say the middle of the month. But I can kind of see where you came from. Okay. There's a huge emphasis here on emotional exhaustion and having to take a step back. Let's take a look at that. Because I did say you having to show quite a bit of strength to know when to give yourself down time, a break, so on and so forth. Let's take a look at that Four Swords. Show me that Four Swords, please. Show me that Four of Swords. So if you're having some kind of burnout that you're recovering from, Okay, let's say back in your birth season, um, you're recovering from it. You are. It's interesting how you anticipate some resistance with a really basic structure there with the Three of Pentacles, possibly a friendship, but you're also saying it's a little bit more on the important side. Okay? Or rather the side of importance. Like, well, I can get to it now. I couldn't before, but I can get to it now. Yeah? All right, this is that four swords, some of that four swords, some of that four swords. Ah, the moon, the lovers, <laughs> the nine of pentacles. Okay, we had to have kind of a hard think on a strong connection. Hmm. But to your credit, you went in there, you did the hard thing, you examined your moon space. Good job. Um, and I always say that because stuff ends up in the moon because we don't want to deal with it. So guess what I see people do more often than not? I want to deal with it. <laughs> that's, that's it. And then it causes a lot of problems later. We end up paying for that stuff in interest. So to your credit, you rested um, about a strong connection here. And it's with you very spiritually. The sun, I'm sorry, not the, the sun and the moon is already a beautiful combination. The moon and the lovers, uh, complexity gets skyrockets just a wee bit. So here we went to rest on a particular subject. The moon and the lovers, strong connection under there. And it's a very intuitive connection too with the moon there. Oh yeah, murky, cloudy, doesn't make sense. But it's a very strong sense of I feel this whether I like it or not. And that can be very upsetting to people because it makes no sense in our everyday life. Why do I feel so strongly connected to it when it's not here? What does that mean? So I see you mulling this over. And perhaps this explains your kind of emotional absence because this is going to be enough to make anybody want to withdraw. Uh, there's that sense of complexity with the lovers. Is it broken? Is it fragmented? Why do I continue to feel it? Why does it continue to draw me in? Why do I think about it? Why do I dream about it? Dreams, um, those hard to catch feelings, the threads, an impulse, a thought, or a feeling that's not yours. It could be them. And you're like, why did this just hit me right now? That kind of thing. Yeah, that's that lover's connection. And it's, it's hard to understand. But to your credit, you did exactly that. You rested on this as best as you could. I'm seeing that Nine of Pentacles as a reflection of either yourself or the other person whom you're connected to. That Nine of Pentacles being a strong sense of excuse me, individuation, self, this is who I am, this is what I'm about. You know, this is my credit, this is what I can do in reality. Um, and we reflect upon this quite a bit. I am seeing that Nine of Pentacles as you and the reflection of yourself in it as a person. And how does it affect you as an individual? which is always a good thing, right? There's who we are as people, and then there's whom we're connected to and why. We should be able to sense and feel around both. This is me as a person, and this is how I found myself in this connection. And these are really good reflection points, and they do aid in the idea of healing. What it is you've learned, I don't know. Um, but this was definitely a resting concept. It took a lot out of you. Um, but I feel like you've gotten a little bit better about navigating this. A strong connection. It could be that's what this is, because you admit... That you have every intention of getting back to this connection that means something to you, but you admit it be it will be rough around the edges. Okay, but you're saying this one's a little more unique, this one's a little more specific, this one's a little more important. Okay? I don't know. It could be, you know? Those these kind of strong connections can leave quite the doozy on us, right? Resting on it. Let's see what you learned there, that Queen of Swords. And in this insistence that you kind of take more time for yourself so you can contemplate these things, how it affects you personally, okay? 
it's going to weigh in on what you do and why, you know? Let's see that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords. In other words, this is going to be an ongoing process until you feel more comfortable in it, you know? Let's see that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords, please. The sun, six of wands, oh, 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 death. Okay, interesting. You're showing me lack of ego here. Lack of ego. Queen of Swords, the sun, contemplation, happiness, excluding ego. Huh. Let's take a look at that strength really quick. Two of wands, part of your decision making. It should be about happiness, not ego, okay? Show me strength, show me strength, show me strength, show me strength. And I agree with you. It's just one of your many conclusions in reflection of yourself and a strong connection. It should be about happiness, purpose, and value, not ego. Nothing to do with pride or sense of attraction. It should be about what's correct for you. I completely agree. Let me see how you're using strength here. Just as a reminder to people, strength, I always clarify it. <laughs> you know, because it takes strength to reject and it takes strength to accept. And people always assume it's positive. Again, like all energies in tarot, completely depends on what we do with it. You know, you can either see this as a fearful thing or an advantage. This one gets like all the, the heck. This one gets all the credit. They both have co uh, cons and they both have pros. So let's take a look at how you're using strength. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, there's that decision again, the Empress. Oh good, I like that, that's good, that's good. I like this, I like this, I do. It goes back into reflection of your Two of Wands here. Okay, it's kind of like again, in a very low key way, not too much pressure. I'm back, sorry for my absence, I needed a break. I was tired, I was burnt out. But hey, signs of life, Taurus is back. Here's the admission of something a little more unique to you, but it could be rough. And then I see you're more, okay, this is my downtime. And as you connect and reconnect and go about your activities here, you do lots of reflection, so much reflection. That means your willingness to learn is high. Your willingness to incorporate difficult knowledge and feelings is also there. Well done. And you're taking it to all the right places. Good job. I see you reinforcing your sense of direction, mind, and will that says empowerment because this is good for me, not because it's wrong. You're taking all your advantages and your skills and your energies to a positive place. You know, you're doing the thing I tell people to do all the time and they're like, yeah, but they don't get it. I get to choose what makes me happy. I get to choose what's right for me. I get to choose. And me choosing what's right for me is completely based on the precedence of I've given it a darn good thought, a good think. There's something about this lover's connection that does take you to the place of the moon, but what you extract from it says, it's good for me, and I, I want to choose it. There's something about it that in many ways don't make sense to you, but nevertheless I see you choosing it, which means I'm actually quite surprised I didn't see the fool for you. But you're saying, no, 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 I'm taking it to a grounded place. I'm taking it to a grounded place here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. You're saying my decision here at the Two of Wands to connect the way that I am and choosing to line up with this energy here, you're saying it's taking me to a good place of strength and empowerment because it's right for me. You're like, whatever the frustration is, whatever those raw edges are, or the hard edges are, you're like, that's nothing. At the end of the day, when I connect with this, it enhances me. Because you show me that Nine of Pentacles, you're showing me the Empress. You're saying, however confusing this is, nonsensical it might be, intuitive and vague <laughs> and powerful that connection might be, I just know that when I choose it, correct, it seems to be good for me. But there's one key point here, Taurus here, that I'm looking at. It has nothing to do with ego. Death of the Six of Wands. Admirable. In other words, you're saying, if I choose this, 
I have to choose it for the right reasons and it has to be for me because it's good for me because it's right for me and does it lend to my sense of stability and empowerment and who the hell I am as Taurus? Am I using my strength in the right way? The answer is yes. Phenomenally so. You know choosing this is somehow good for you even if it doesn't immediately make sense. So it's actually quite admirable. And this is all internal, honey. But as I say, everything begins with itself. So the more I see somebody internally relax and address these difficult issues, they start to apply it in the 3D. Everything begins with itself. You know, people say they want change and then they do nothing with that idea. Therefore, the universe can't take them seriously. We can't take ourselves seriously. Therefore, we get no change. We get no new. We get no nothing. Everything begins with itself. The more we start making decisions in our favor, we do the hard work, we internalize the right way, we understand what we can accept, even if it doesn't make sense or it's challenging in some respect. Because you're saying there are challenges around this uniqueness that you would go towards. You're like, it's worth it. I just got to know that I'm choosing it not for reasons of pride, but does it make me feel good, grounded, and empowered? The answer seems to be once more overwhelmingly yes. Because you're willing to see that, you're willing to do the work, it's looking like it's affording you very well that sense of this is me, this is what I'm about, and I'm making the right decisions for me. And you can't put a price on that sense of self-reassurance, you know. It feels good. It feels very good. Look at you. Look at that. Look at that. That's all you, baby. That's you. That's all you. That's a thousand percent you. Look at you. Look at you go. Look at you glow. You're making the right choice here, that two of wands. It seemed like such a simple decision at the time, didn't it? But you work through it, you choose it, you see how it's working back with you, it applies to you, and you want more of it, but in all the right ways. It's just one little key component here that I like. You're like, so long as it's correct, I choose it. Not for reasons of ego, pride, or visibility. It's good. It's very good. Very good. Beautiful. Let's keep on keeping on. This is an awesome reading for you guys today. I'm absolutely loving this. Wonderful. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. <clears throat> You're doing all the right things that suggest I don't just choose me, and that's step one. You are choosing yourself. I'm choosing this connection, too. And what I say about the lovers all the time, guys, in order to keep it, we have to choose it. That means the willingness to be challenged, to shift our focus, our thinking, and make changes. You're doing those things because this is important to you. You've identified that importance and you're like, this is what I got to do. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm not saying that they don't have a part to play. The lovers automatically makes a duel. I'm not reading of them, are they? I just see your reaction to it that suggests everything begins with me. And I want this and I see it. I take it to table. I take it to bed. I took it to rest. I made that decision. I know it's for me. Well, that two of wands keeps popping up for you. That's current active decision making. Bravo. All right. It's going to be like that today. Mm. King of Pentacles. Show me that King of Pentacles, please. Show me that King of Pentacles. What's going on? Show me that King of Pentacles. What's going on? You are just all over this today in all the right ways. Fantastic. Okay. King of Pentacles. Show me that King of Pentacles. Once more, I'm not emphasizing perfection. I'm emphasizing empowerment. Okay. Making those decisions that at the time seem simple in nature. The willingness to address conflict. The willingness to re-engage. But you see, when you're alone, when you're internal, things make sense to you. So you know that you're making the right decisions. And that's all I care about. The Knight of Pentacles. I told you that Knight of Pentacles was you. I knew it. I just knew it. I knew it, baby. I knew it. I knew it. Look at you. Look at you. I told you. There you are, contemplating yourself as an individual within the greater context. Beautiful. Everything, everything begins with the self. So the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. That's you. All across. Five of Cups. As you continue to ease into that this is who I am energy. Claim it as the King and Queen of Pentacles or want to do. This is what they do. This is what they do best. Claiming themselves. 
What's the whole point of being a resource gatherer or head of household if you don't know what the heck you're claiming? So you're claiming yourself first and foremost. Excellent. Beautiful. Five of Cups, don't let that fool you. What you're saying is, is that uh, you feel a lot better about who you are. Okay? I told you, some of you are coming from a point here on your timeline of emotional distance. Being burnt out. And then somehow making a very strong decision to make a very strong comeback. And as you continue to do so, and you do your high levels of reflection and strength and your energy and understanding what's right for you, leaving ego out of it, you really are claiming who the heck you are. I see you being incredibly prosperous in that sense of this is me, this is what I'm about, this is what I can do, okay? Some of you are quite claiming here, and that's wonderful. Um, and it's your superpowers are just jumping off the page, honey, you know? Resourceful you are, strong-willed, Experienced, independent, these are all beautiful things, okay? But above all, this attitude that's rolling off of you of, I can do. I can do. That's wonderful. Good job, honey. Very good. Very good. Very proud of you. Excellent stuff. I really like the Taurus you're developing into. Because you made a decision to open up towards something, even if it presents itself as difficult. And ever since then, you've been in a good place of reflection. Right? Can't argue with truth. I love this. I love this. I absolutely love this. Knight of Cups. Show me that Knight of Cups. You're working on something beautiful, honey. You may not see it yet, but you are part of a bigger picture that is you. And I like how you're putting yourself together. And that you have been. Okay? That wasn't randomly thrown together. Okay? The elements of who you are have been here this whole time. And it's like you're, it's like you're conducting this beautiful symphony and bringing these pieces that is you together. With just a couple of decisions. Stay in that flow. Once you start making choices like this, you just get addicted to them. You want more. It's like, oh, what else is good for me? Oh, what else is good for me? Oh, oh, I could keep choosing this. This is awesome. <laughs> I got to see where this goes. I got to see where this takes me. I can't stop here. And don't ask me to. Right? It's so good. Right? Look at you. Look at this empowered Taurus. Look at you. I love it. Knights of Cups. Show me that Knights of Cups, please. Yeah, there's that Eight of Cups. Yeah, I know. I know, Queen of Wands. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, bingo, bango. And that's so appropriate, too, because it's right here on the downline. It's following through. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that three of pentacles that was a little rough around the edges. I'm trying to reconstruct this. And for you, Taurus, absolutely basics. Focusing on the basics, commonality, the principles of commonality, and something to build upon. You admitted here at that particular cup, it has a bit more of a driving force attached to it. This is the one you take to table, take to bed, take to rest. Okay, and you reflect on it. Uh, they're showing up, and they're like, hi. <laughs> Your king of wands had an eight of cups. There it is. There's that eight of cups. I oh, know. So here we had with this person, I believe you're showing me emotional burnout. Having to distance yourself from it. But it's like I said, you're making a comeback. But honey, you're making a comeback. And it's like, you're. I just don't think you see yourself as a prize fighter. You're going to win the title on this one, okay? I don't think you're trying to win anything, particularly since you made that point to me about I have to leave ego out of it. It's either good for me as the sun, and I know this, and I will continue to connect with it and thus enhance my sense of empowerment because I made the right choice, or it won't, right? No, you were dead on bang, honey. You were a thousand percent correct on this one. So I know you weren't like, I'm going to win this fight. No, you had what looked like a very basic plan in place to get emotionally restabilized, showing back up, and then reapproaching this. And it's showing, it, look at that, look at that. The hard work is paying off, but it's more than hard work. Once you start doing something that feels right, though, it stops feeling like work. It gets easier. It does. But look at that. They're showing up to, oh. <laughs> nice. Nice point. The Ace of Cups is no more. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> is no more that emotional burnout that you felt and you had to walk away from get some distance space whomever this is that's sharing that here we have a matching frequency they experienced something similar 
it seems to no longer apply to either of you. Congratulations. With a little bit of three of pentacles, right? And that willingness to work around those so-called rough edges is paying off in spades. Okay? Um, there they are, showing up, matching frequencies with you. The heart space flows in their direction. They seem to be an open recipient. So where you both had an emotional absence, walking away, a burnout principle, something like this, where you're both emotionally exhausted and you part... With the lovers there, the odds of this being pushed away at some point is very high. Very high. Like I said, all the time, the lovers can be either our most rewarding connection or what feels like our most damning one. So it's very common to have a breakaway and a reemergence, so long as two people more or less can now get back on the same page. And that's what I see you two doing. But it happens over very basic commonality principles that start here. But look at all that lovely flow that's attached to it. I knew that you're just radiating. Look at you. You're radiating. And this person seems to be responding to it. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. I'm not saying everything is peaches and cream, but it's a fine start. It's a fine start. Absolutely. Look at that beautiful work you've done. Oh, my goodness. Let's see that hermit, please. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. What did I say? Where'd that go? Labradite. Tricky little stone. That's a good one. What's going on, please? Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Yes, I had that moment where it's like I have to have things. Just line it up. <laughs> no, I'm not OCD. But I do like things to be. Mm. I'm that person that will adjust somebody's frame in their damn house. I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> I, I will do it. Don't, don't, I can't, no, we don't do crookedness. No, we don't do crookedness. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Don't act like you don't know. Don't act like you don't know. All right. If you can relate, put in the comments, I don't do crookedness either. There you go. Standards. That's all I'm saying. All right. The Hermit. Oh, yeah. The World. Three of Wands. The Tower. Oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> that's coming from me. So that's got to mean something, right? The World. Three of Wands. The Tower. Look at that. You see the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are just like gobsmacked by your own incorporation of healing elements and what you have managed to achieve. There's a sense of waiting is over. It didn't take too much. It didn't take a lot at all. You were just gobsmacked by what you're experiencing in this. Look at that. And you're incorporating it so well. Like I said, once you get started, you can't stop. So you are really consolidated massively what it is that you have learned up until this point and what you will continue to experience in harmony, it looks like, with this person who is marked as someone as significant, but we treat it practically in the real world as something that has room to grow with potential. And uh, the emotional expanse is fluid on point the way you choose it. You are, in fact, choosing yourself first and foremost. I love that you have that agreement between you and you. I choose myself, therefore I can choose this. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at how much you've learned. Look at that. That's the world, since the world, since the break, since the cycle. Through what is literally you're reflecting on yourself in the future, say, wow, I came a long way. Yeah, you did. Look at you. You can't put a price on that kind of thing, honey. That is fantastic. Look at that. You've incorporated towers. You've incorporated cycles and what you've learned from it, how you're opening up towards it, and how you have fundamentally changed, but in all the right ways that suggest empowerment to you. Elements of strength and no ego. It's either happiness or it's not. It's either for me or it's not. And if it is for me, I got to choose it. Then I can have it. And look at me. Look at where you are. And this person's like, you know, I tore us some. <laughs> yeah, you two can match frequencies, but I like the subtlety of it. I do. I do. We have this magnificent connection and then you two are like super subtle. But I think now that one of you is trying to assume too much too soon, you both showed me three pentacles. You said, I expect some roughness on that one. 
and but down here is smooth it's smooth as silk that one okay it's got it youtube got it whatever that is youtube got it good job to both of you all right i love it it's really smooth i know you're like oh. this could be difficult christina i know but look at that a little bit of application reassurance to yourself that all is well because it is it's, there's no falseness in there at all no falseness you did away with that some sense of no false ego no sense of pride nothing like that just because it's correct absolutely fish sorry can't read that abundance luck mm. for some of you fish in reverse i get that feeling that was prior to the timeline lack of abundance lack of emotional fluidity not having enough resources to work with, so it created burnout for some of you. I know I kept saying that. Uh, we're coming out of that. Like I said, we're coming out of that. So here we have the opposite of it. Abundance, luck, things just appearing. Again, the fish represent resources. And here we're coming back into ourselves very much so. I can see that you have done well for yourself. You obviously prize stability <laughs> and being resourceful. That's very much with you. So we're here we had anti-luck. Here we have the forces of luck. And again, a sense of prosperity as you literally choose you. It's adding to your sense of prosperity. Okay. All right. Wheel. Oh my, how things have changed. It doesn't matter which way this was. The wheel is the wheel is the wheel. Wheel of fortune, given time. Okay. New beginnings. New beginnings, endings. You opened up with the recognition of I'm coming out of emotional dissonance and how much you have learned from it. And there it is. I'm backing that particular piece up. Where are we? Okay. It's a bit longer than I had thought. Still, I enjoyed it. This was great. This was fantastic. Oh, oh all right then. Let's do some charms, yeah. Taurus is like, don't call it a comeback. I won't. But maybe we should. It's a heck of a comeback. I love this. Uh, here we have the Great White Shark, Scorpio Energy. I did see a touch of that over here, but take that as it resonates. You might have some very prominent Scorpio in your chart. Uh, could be connecting one, not the point. Uh, there's that sense of pursual. This is what I got to do. Unapologetic. This is the direction I'm going in. You know, I can either consume you or you can get out the way. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's, I know. Mm, it is what it is. All right, small dog. You know, some of you might have a very small dog, like the toy kind of dog. We have poodle, Yorkie, terrier, that kind of thing, chihuahua. And the letter H. Okay. Doris, honey, I hope this helped you. This was a great read. Uh, yours was first out the gate uh, for the mid-month check-in. I don't know if others can measure up to this, but uh, it would be nice if it did. I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.